and welcome back to Technolobe. Realme 3 Pro is one of the best devices out there in the budget segment. It offers a lot of good specifications at a very attractive price point of Rs 14,000. Like it's literally one of the best phones in that price segment and I've been using it as my daily phone since the day it came out and I absolutely love this phone. I will be making a full review of this phone which will be coming sometime next week but today let's talk about Android Q on this phone. So a couple of days ago at Google I.O. they launched the new version of Android that is Android Q and they also announced the beta program. So the beta program until last year was only available for Pixel devices but from last year they've been adding new devices to the list and this year Realme 3 Pro made the list. Like I checked it like literally 5-6 to six times just to be sure that this phone has got Android Q and it literally surprised me because I was not expecting this. But nevertheless, we have the beta version for Realme 3 Pro and it's kind of awesome that a 14,000 rupees phone has the latest Android version and you can check out all the new features by yourself which is really cool for tech enthusiasts like you and me out there. That's why today in this video, I'm going to tell you how to install Android Q on your Realme 3 Pro and I'm also going to tell you how to revert back to Android P because this software has a lot of bugs. So after you check out all the new features, I'm going to tell you how to go back to Android P as well. Now first up, let's talk about what are the new features in Android Q. So nowadays there is not much left to do in software, like Google already has done a lot of good things with AI and nowadays like there are no new major features that they can add, that's why there are very few features which have been added in Android Q. The biggest of them is dark mode. So yeah, finally we have a system wide dark mode for Android, which is very good. You just need to swipe down and there is a dark theme option in the quick toggles. And once you press it, you will have dark mode on your phone. Now I know that dark mode is not something new and we've been seeing it in a lot of themes and launches out there, but having dark mode built into Android is kind of good. Apart from that, the second big thing is gestures. So finally, Google has implemented a good gesture model for Android because in Android P, gestures were so complicated and I just did not like it. Like if I used stock Android, like on the Poco F1 with Pixel Experience or with the Mi A2, I would just use the normal on-screen buttons. I would never use the gestures because they were kind of complicated and they did not work well. But finally, in Android Q, we have good gestures and they work like any other OEM out there. So you have swipe up to go home, swipe and hold to go to multitasking and for back you can swipe on either side of the phone which is available in MIUI. So the back is like MIUI which is kind of awesome. So those were the two major changes in Android Q. There were also a lot of minor changes in terms of notifications and also something which is called as live captions which I don't get it myself, like it's a cool feature, but I don't know what's the major use case with that, but those features are also available. I'll make sure to drop a link in the description box below, which will take you to an article, which will explain all the new features in Android Q. But for me, the two main features are dark theme and also those new gestures. So that was about the changes with Android Q. Now let's go ahead and see how to install Android Q on your Realme 3 Pro. For that, we just have to follow these simple steps and you will be good to go. Number one, go to the link in the description box below and download the zip file for Android Q. It is named as P2Q and just download it and save it in your internal memory. Once that is done, switch off your Realme 3 Pro and while you switch it on, press the power button and the volume down button simultaneously which will take you into recovery mode. Once you are in recovery mode, select your language as English and then select install from internal storage. Once you do that, find your zip file and just install it. It will take about 3 to 4 minutes for the installation and then about 5 to 8 minutes for the first boot and then you will be presented with the welcome screen which is the Android startup screen and then you have to fill in all your details and set up the phone. Now please make a note that all your data will be erased by this method. That's why please take the necessary backup of your data of your photos, contacts, apps, whatever you want. Take the necessary backup on the cloud or on your computer and then move ahead with this procedure. 
Now, if you want to roll back to Android P, then it's pretty simple. You just have to download the other file, which is Q2P, that is Android Q2P, and then flash it in the similar way, and you will be back to Android P. Now, Android Q is stock Android, like it is not color OS, so please keep that in mind. And Android P is color OS. So if you flash Android Q, it is stock Android, and if you go back to Android P, it is color OS. Now, do make a note that Android Q has a lot of bugs in it. First and the most important one is that Geo is not working for me. So there is no Volti whatsoever and I cannot use Geo, which is kind of sad. Apart from that, the fingerprint sensor is not working, the lock screen password is not working and there are a lot of other things which aren't working. Also, there is no good camera app for this Android version. So if you want to click great pictures, then I would suggest do not install it. Stick to color OS and you will have a great time. But if you want to check out the new features that Google have provided, then you can install Android Q and you know have a look at it. So anyway, that's with it. I hope that this video helped you out in some way or the other. And if it did, then please let me know about that in the comment section down below. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe below because it would mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one.